fingers crossed. I don't know how this is gonna go. I really hope that I don't mess up anything in my apartment or that my dog doesn't eat concrete. <laughs> my office slash guest room slash my cat Sebastian lives in there slash storage room. It's pretty much a room that catches all the stuff that I really don't know what to do with. And I'm so excited about this project that we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be using concrete and that's not something that I've ever used before. So I'm super terrified and excited and slightly scared that I'm gonna ruin my floor, but it's too hot to do it outside. <gasps> I don't know, we're just gonna go with it. We're gonna be taking a really cheap table from Ikea and upcycling it into a really killer, dope, concrete and white table. So let's get started. So let's get into the supplies that we're going to be using for this transformation. You're going to need sandpaper or an electric sander like this one. You're definitely gonna need a primer to make your table last longer. This table is painted black. So we really want to prime it so that our paint color really sticks and is really vibrant. You're going to need this Henry Feather Finish Concrete Patch Mix. This covers a lot of ground, so if you're doing a simple desk like this, you probably do a couple of desktops. Paint stirs to mix a trawl, which has these little grooves on the side um, for scoring. I don't really know if we're gonna use that. I don't really know if that's really what they're for, but that's what it looks like. We're just gonna be using this to um, smooth it out on top of the desk. Putty knife. So I just picked this one because it was inexpensive and I could throw it away after because I figured we were gonna ruin it with concrete. Paint brush, a plastic cover for the floor, and we're gonna be using this both when we paint outside for spray paint, as well as putting it underneath the table when we apply the concrete. Tape, if you wanna tape off any fine edges that you don't want either paint or concrete going on. Sealant that we're going to be using for the concrete. So this is Tough Duck Concrete Countertop Sealer. Two, five, quart buckets so that we can mix the concrete up and you can have one for water. You're gonna start off by priming your table, and then you're gonna let that dry for about an hour, then go over it with two coats of your desired paint color, letting them each dry pretty well between each coat. Next, we're going to start applying the concrete to the table. Simply mix up your concrete according to the instructions on the back of the box, and then using your trowel, you're going to add a very thin layer to the top of the table and all of the sides that you want your concrete to be on. I marked off the legs with blue painter's tape for a clean line where I didn't want the concrete to go past. And my concrete was a little thick the first time around. It was much better for the second coat. So just make sure you're following the instructions. Once you've applied your first layer of concrete and let it dry, you're going to completely sand it down using a hand sander, and then you're going to repeat these two steps. So you're going to apply a new layer of concrete and then sand that down as well. And if you need to apply a third coat, you absolutely can. And finally, we're going to be sealing our concrete using a microfiber cloth or pad. You're gonna be going over the concrete table with two coats of sealer, and you're just going to be wiping it on with your micro pad, first going top to bottom on the table, and then letting that dry completely for about an hour, and then going over the table again, going the opposite way at a 90 degree angle, so from side to side, and making sure that you're getting all the little grooves if you've left the table a little more rough and more textured like I have. Three complete, well, okay, I'm not gonna lie. 
It took me a week to finish because between each process, we really let it dry. So I really wanted this table to come out well. If you guys liked this video and you like this transformation and Ikea hack, give it a thumbs up below. And if you want to follow along as I completely transform my office slash guest room slash whatever else it's going to be room, hit the subscribe button below and I'll be posting new videos every week. I'm super excited about the next project because it's gonna be so awesome. Okay guys, see you next week. Bye. Excuse me. Kinsley! Stop! Concrete really freaks me out. What if I put concrete in your hair? What if I get concrete in my hair? Kinsley! She's not listening.